Hello my beautiful beans, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing Legacy and I'm excited because a lot happened in the last episode. So I asked you guys in the comments <laughs> whether or not Ren should keep this surprise baby or not and the amount of people that wanted her to keep it was like seriously overwhelming. I was not expecting that but you gotta give the people what they want, you know? <laughs> but uh, I, I didn't know what I wanted, so I decided to like let you guys choose in the comments. Like, whatever was the most popular vote is what I would do. So it looks like we're keeping Ren's baby. I'm sorry for everybody that didn't want her to keep it, but it is what it is. Um, I still think that we will have time to have seven more kids. We're just gonna have to time it like really, really well. And I'm definitely going to give both of them a potion of youth so that we can get it done. It looks like this generation is going to be a long one, but I don't really mind it. Honestly, the longer this challenge goes on, the better because I'm not ready for it to end personally. <laughs> and you guys are right, like it adds spice. It adds uh, some interest to this Let's Play, so yeah. That's what we're gonna be doing. What else are we doing in this episode? Uh, it looks like we're gonna be sending Alice off to uni as well, which is very, very sad. I'm gonna miss her a lot, but she's not a vampire anymore. She's gonna go out, live her life, fly away from the nest. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not really sure what else we're going to be getting up to today, but I'm really excited to find out. These Sims, um, they really do have a mind of their own, so here we go. I actually have a monster today and not a Celsius. I like to switch it up sometimes. Anyway, before I go off on another rant about drinks, let's get started. <laughs> All right, guys, here we are back on the lot. It is a very rainy fall day. Day two of seven. Okay, first and foremost, let's check out the calendar because I'm trying to see, I'm trying to see something. Okay, we don't have a birthday for quite some time. We've got Halloween tomorrow, which is exciting. We've got Meet a Celebrity, Harvest Fest, Talent Showcase, and then, ooh, Felix's birthday. Okay, and then the next birthday after that is Charlie. But since we're gonna give him a potion of youth, we're gonna live his adulthood all over again. And then a few days after that, we've got Luna and Zoe's birthday. Okay, fantastic. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into Create a Sim because I wanted to show you guys Zoe. Um, I, I showed her a little bit at the end of last episode and a lot of you guys wanted me to give her glasses. So I did. I think, oh my God, I'm so in love with her. She's so dang cute. So dang cute. Spitting image of Stella, for sure. But yeah, I gave her glasses. I'll show you guys, a, 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 I'll show you guys her outfits. So this is outfit number one. Outfit number two. Oh my god, I love this so much. Here's her third outfit. Here's her fourth. And then here's her formal wear. Athletic. Sleep. Party. Swim. Hot. And cold. Um, you guys are going to have to let me know if this uh, style for her is a yay or a nay. Uh, what else did I do? Oh yeah, I changed Alice's hair. So... Her hair was um, in a ponytail a lot before. I decided to give her French braids for like pretty much all of her outfits. She just kind of seems like the type that wouldn't really mess with her hair. She just kind of like wanted it out of the way. So yeah, I gave her French braids. And then what else did I do? I think that was it. Did we give, oh, I didn't give Luna all of her outfits yet, I don't think. Let me see. Okay, I think I did. Oh, she's so adorable. Oh my gosh, I love her. Love her. A lot of you guys in the comments want want Luna to be like, maybe on more of the darker side, which I think is tight, because we haven't really had anyone in the family that has been, um, you know, emo. <laughs> so maybe she'll like want to dye her hair a bunch when she grows up and get a lot of piercings. Um, a comment that really stuck with me was like, oh, maybe she saw old pictures of her great, great, great grandma Savannah with all her piercings and she wanted piercings too. So I think that's pretty cute. So yeah, uh, what else, what else, what else, what else we got? What else? It looks like our plants all are regrowing, which is nice. These aren't quite there yet, but hey, it is what it is. It's so dark around here. 
Sheesh. Oh, it looks like Olive's here to visit, which is very cute. We've got some spoiled bread puddings. Dang it, those bread puddings looked so good last episode, too. Oh, oh no, the sure. banana cream pie has gone off, too. Sad. Oh. And the brownies. Oh my gosh, Gosh. everything is just moldy. <laughs> so I filmed 100 Baby a few days ago and uh, it was really hard because my sims like weren't taking care of themselves and everything was just broken. So I'm hoping it's not the case for this, but we'll see. We shall see. Ren's on the swings again. Shocker. And everything is broken. I love to see it. There's just a pile of trash in the foyer. Okay, so I really would like to work on Stella a bit in this episode. How is her magical prowess? What are you at? Oh, wow, you're almost level four. Okay, that's a lot higher than I thought, which is cool. And she has a couple of talent points that we can spend. So I'm going to get her this knowledge one, and I'm also going to get her... Uh, insightful eye. Okay, how's your mood? It's good. And when do you have work next? Five hours. And you need level four charisma? How is your charisma? Mm, not very good. Okay, well, I'm gonna get you to practice your magic for a bit. Just come and experiment. Yeah, why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? I'm good. I'm good. I think I'm just freaking myself out. Because this, this Let's Play in particular, like, I don't know what I would do if something went wrong in the recording and I just... You guys didn't see any of this gameplay. It would absolutely break my heart. All right, what are you doing? Oh my God, you're going to admire the cart too? You're not Charlie, what's going on here? Uh, how's your archeology span skill? Oh my God, you've almost maxed it. Okay, well, why don't you come over here and get to work on that so you can max it before you leave? Uh, let's uncover this artifact. I can't believe she's not a vampire anymore. It's honestly crazy. And look at all the artifacts she has in her room. Isn't this just so cute? She's such a cool sim. She's into really old stuff and oh man, I'm just sad. I'm so sad she's gonna be gone. Wah! <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Oh well. We're gonna have another baby to focus on for Ren. So this room will be transformed into another baby room. How exciting. All right, Mr. Charlie, what about you? Have you maxed anything yet? You've maxed media production and video gaming. We were working on cooking and charisma as well, but you've got a whole bunch of time, to be honest. Like, since we're giving you a potion of youth, it's gonna be a long generation. I hope you guys are ready for it. <laughs> I'm ready for it. I'm obsessed with this gen. So good. She's so freaking cute. So cute. So her aspiration, oh, she's a spellcaster too. We got to get working on that. Okay, purveyor of potions. Um, she's got no skills yet and she's a clumsy geek. <sighs> so, oh, what personality thing did she get? Bold, imaginative, and strong will. Leaders always finding a way or making one. Um, leadership positions in groups, attending social gatherings, sporting events, playing competitive sports, um, because they're so often focused. Oh yeah, we did see this already. Okay. Well, that's right. So I want her to be pretty active. Um, I don't know why it's just, it was in my head and it's just stuck there. So I do want to get her active skill up. Um, and then I don't know what other skills that we want to work on for her. I want to do something, um, something different. Let's have a workout. Let's work on that skill. So hopefully uh, it just comes organically, but if it doesn't, then we're gonna have to pick something for her. There you go, girl. Oh, she's clumsy. <laughs> um, there was this comment where it said, um, uh, since she's an active sim, she can just be like all over the place doing like active things and like bump into things and get bruises and all that. And that can like be with, that can align with her clumsy thing. So I really like that. Why aren't you at school? Oh, because you just aged up. Okay, you're fine then. And you guys, I have no idea how Batman died. He just died. I think he died from old age. But I really don't know. I think that um, the next time that we <clears throat> get a dog or a pet or whatever, if we get a cat next time, that we should get 
the age down treat from the vet so that we can have the dog for longer because they really don't live that long and it's such a bummer. Get it, girl. Ignore it. Uh, no real harm done. Tomorrow's Halloween. That's fun. Ren is still getting money for that video game she made. Anyway, what skill are we working on? Oh, yes, baking. This one's taking a long time. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's bake some stuff. Okay, I'm gonna get her to bake. Um, let's do peanut butter cookies and then we can do, oh yay, Stella learned a new spell. And then let's do a fruit pie. Good for you, Bean, keep on practicing. Keep on practicing. What spells do you know? And three duels, no five different spells, okay. Oh shoot, she's late for work. Go to work, love. Go to work. Go to work. Go to work. Honey, go. Why don't you want to go? Yay. What is it? Another one of these skull thingies? We already have one. It's right here. Smoky quartz skull. Smoky quartz skull. Okay. Same thing. What else we got? Ooh, yay. Another spell. Good job, Stell. Another spell. Good job, Stell. Oh, look at this bean. She's so cute. You good? Are you like super emo? Okay, you're just relaxing. Okay, and Charlie, what do you want to do for your aspiration? Have a child get married. Oh my gosh, that's gonna take forever. Help with homework. Stella, honey, why? Oh, Lilith is here. Invite to feel baby. She's like, Lilith, guess what? I'm having another kid! She's like, oh my god, with who? And why is it not Caleb? You know his wife died, right? We know. We know. <laughs> is your mom around right now? Yeah, why? That was weird. All right, Alice, let's do another fossil. Perfectly preserved mustache. Let's do it on this. I am deeply saddened by the news, Ren, I'm here for you. What news? What are you talking about? Okay, this is her baby daddy, Caden. So many of you guys want me to bring Silas back to life. So many of you, but it's against legacy rules. And... I just don't- I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Like, I want to follow the rules as much as I can. I don't know how else I'm breaking them. One of you guys said that the death flower was against the rules, but it's not. I checked. So, I don't know. I don't know. And since Ren isn't, like, a main character, and neither is Silas, like... I guess there can be an exception. Oh my gosh, you know what I just realized? Who's this? Why are you here? Oh, Zoe, is this a friend? Is this the girl who texted you? Wait, do you even know this girl? Jo oh, you do! Kick soccer ball with Jocelyn. <gasps> okay, do we have a best friend here? That'd be exciting. Zoe already has a friend. Girl. Good for you. Maybe you guys are on the soccer team together? What skill does this work on? Is it active? Oh yes, fitness. Nice. Okay, I smell a makeover. <laughs> sniff, sniff. I smell. Alright, Jocelyn. Let's see what you're all about then, eh? Goodbye, Lilith. Oh man, you have a huge family. Whoa. Okay, it looks like she's a teen and she has a daughter. And this guy, Otto, is her brother. And he has... A wife and his wife had kids with someone else that's not him okay so we've got a teen mom friend who is an mixologist and she's neat interesting good vampire this is messy <laughs> there's so much going on here oh wow so let's see what we can do okay so I think yeah, it was a skin detail. All right. Um, she's super interesting looking. That's for sure. This is for sure one of the most unique sims I've ever seen, like facial wise. Uh, she's very different. Even her side profile, it's actually quite beautiful. 
But I'm not gonna waste too much time on her. Uh, I don't even know if... Uh, sh I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Not enough exercise from active trait? She doesn't even have the active trait. Active sims need physical activity to feel fulfilled. Well, there you go. <laughs> okay, you guys. Look, I just clicked on Luna and she's hiding in the graveyard playing with her toy. I mean, she's probably stuck there, but uh, okay, this girl likes graveyards. Oh no, creative arts receive the most votes. <laughs> More tablets and more clay, you guys. I actually put the no, um, no autonomous. Whoa, who's this man? Oh, clay, right. No autonomous uh, clay holding. So hopefully that we don't have that problem in this let's play. I'm gonna get Charlie to cook some dinner. We're working on his cooking skill. So let's get that up. We will do, what should we have for dinner? Let's have some gumbo. I love gumbo. Third trimester in two hours. Oh my gosh, we are gonna see her baby very soon. Alice uncovered another artifact, nice. Oh, 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 Alice, what'd you do? What'd you do? What'd you do? You did it again. Um, the artifact is genuine. Beautiful, my girl. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, another one of these bad boys. Well, Ren is still working on her baking. This bean, what you doing? What you doing? You need to be doing something. Keep looking for it. Do extra credits. Look who it is. Senor Silas. Oh God, he probably saw Ren being pregnant. Was like, wow. Again, huh? Um. Okay, you guys. So Miss Alice here has finally maxed her skill, which is very exciting. Alice can share her scholarly knowledge with other sims by giving an archaeology lecture. Her ability to practice analysis on collectibles and find high quality artifacts is greatly enhanced. That's what's up. Okay, and also I wanted to check if she even got into uni. Where's our mailbox? Do we apply for scholarships? I don't even remember. Uh, okay, well, yeah, we did and we applied to universities. Okay, uh, let's get the mail. Let's see if there's anything in there. Actually, Ren, can you get the mail? Since you're not doing anything except hobbling around. Scholarship result letter. Okay, let's give these all to Alice. This is so exciting. So exciting. Hurry up in the bath. Hurry, we've got letters to open. Happy Halloween. Okay, let's open this one first. She has not been awarded the food and drink scholarship. Sad day. All right, let's open this one. Uh, Willow Creek Scholarship valued at 250 Okay. And this one? Same thing. Open this. Uh, athletics valued at 450 Okay. Two out of three. Not bad. Not bad. I'm okay with that. And where's our acceptance letter? Why are you taking another bath? <laughs> Let's check here. Um, check application status. Honey, what are you doing? Why are you dancing in there? Is she just like happy about her scholarships or... Okay, just had to do a little jig, had to get it out. That's fine. <laughs> you do that. Well, did you get in? And of course my camera turned off. Gotta love it. Okie dokie. So, Brightchester or Foxbury? Is archaeology considered art history since you uncover... Well, no, because fossils. I guess we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Okay. Um, where are you going? Where are you going? We're not done. We're not freaking done. Oh, look at this. Hearing of Alice's archaeology... <laughs> Why can't I say that? Archaeo... Archaeological renown. The Artifacts Association is sending over some artifacts and is requesting help in identifying their origins. That's tight. Okay, well, let's get her to um, apply for universities then. Uh, enroll. Enroll. I, what, can we do more scholarships? No? Okay, that's fine. But wait, if we apply right now, she's gonna leave right now, right? Maybe we shouldn't yet. <laughs> I'll wait, because it's Halloween, and I think it would be cool if we, like, went to the beach one time with her as well. Bro, what the heck is the matter with you? See, they just don't take care of themselves. Charlie, come on, my boy. What's the problem? 
Oh my god, I think he's broken. Okay, let's, uh... Reset. Take medicine. There you go. Sleep. Jeez, man. I have to tell them every little thing that they need to do. Oh my god! Baby daddy is asking us on a date. That's not cool. I don't even know if I want this guy to be a part of the baby's life. But at the same time, if he's like making an effort, maybe we should. Maybe, mm, I don't know, I don't know. No, we're busy, we're busy, we're busy. I, I don't know what I wanna do about it yet. So we just gonna wait on that. Stella is about to level up her magic, which is real exciting. That means she can learn new, new moves, <laughs> new spells. And also, before Alice leaves, I would like her to max her dancing skill because she's level four. That's such an easy skill to uh, take care of. So that'll give us another point before she leaves. There she goes, she did it. Why didn't it give me a little thing? Okay, uh, she's now level four. That's so amazing. She's almost to virtuoso. All right, so let's get her practical magic is probably I think that would make the most sense. And then we can do... Let's see. Let's do Blender Arm. All right. Good job, Stella. So proud of you. I'm getting really pissed off about all the broken appliances because of the ghosts. That's like where most of our... Mo oh no! Felix is going through a mean streak? Oh look! They're oh, utilizing the outdoor it. space. Oh, they never do this. Okay, Ren, how about, let's, um, I wanted to make, like, little cream colas or something for the children. Let's make a root beer float for Luna. Cute! Wait, what the? What the heck? What is that? Is that, like, a trait she has? Hold on. Is it from the shrewd thing, maybe? What the heck is that from? $40,000? It must be. Receive a direct deposit each week based on their household funds. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Felix is out here making some fall crafts. What a cute bean. Aw, how cute! Aww. I wonder how he feels being the only boy. So far, at least. It's quite the crayon you've got there. It's like a million different colors. <laughs> oh, love him. Look at this. There's a boy here in a towel. That is an interesting outfit you've got on. Oh, I forgot it's freaking um Halloween. That's probably why. Let's trick this little fella. Come on, Ren. Trick him. Beat it, nerd. No candy here. Well, I guess we can have a small Halloween party and just invite family. Charlie, what happened to your shirt? Charlie, what happened to your shirt? What the heck? That's weird. This isn't okay. Let's put you in this. Oh, man. Okay. Well, uh, let's do Ren. Um, we can just have a little, little, little get together. Um, wait, no, not the dating app. Why'd I click that? <laughs> no, I didn't mean to click that. Plan a social event. So we can do Dorian, Max Jr., Kyla, her husband. That is some complicated simlish. Why have I never heard it before? Okay, spooky party. All these people to host, and then we will invite... I forgot that orange died. <laughs> Let's invite Rosie so that her and Alice can get acquainted. Uh, we'll do Kane, Cameron, uh, Ryan. Should we invite all of Stella's family? I suppose we can. Max Jr. Where the heck is Dorian at? Caleb, Greg, Lilith. Oh my gosh, so many Vitors. Dorian, Kyla, Alvin. I think that's it. I think that's everyone in the family. 16. 
Wow, all right, we'll do one caterer and we'll also invite a mixologist because we got the money to burn, the money to burn, <laughs> why not? All right, let's see them costumes. Let's see them. Oh gosh, Ren, really, that's your costume of choice? Maybe she's trying to hide the fact that she's pregnant? So she chose that costume. <laughs> And then we've got, is this Zoe or Stella? Okay, Zoe is a witch. Very fitting. What else do we have? Charlie. Whoa, uh, uh, it's like a, what? Like a bounty hunter type thing? Stella, Princess Leia, Alice, Princess Leia, Ren was the mascot, Zoe was a witch, Felix is asleep. But it's Halloween! Okay, finish your nap. What about you, my love? Oh shoot, that mood. Oh my gosh, okay. Come to bed. Dorian is a pizza delivery man. Happy holidays, Zoe from Zoe. Oh, hey, Alma. What's up, girl? Hey, Alvin. Cheerleader, nice. We've got Rosie here, pirate. Um, who's this? Shayna Bellamy? I don't know who you are. Well, Alice though, um, what the heck is this? Spooky time shenanigans, cute. Where's Alice? Lilith is also, oh my God, Lilith is pregnant again. And she's a cheerleader. <gasps> Holy cannoli. Okay, her and Ren are pregnant at the same time. I guess, um, she wasn't pregnant when she was here two, two seconds ago. So perhaps she saw that Ren was pregnant and was like, I wanna be pregnant too. Okay, Alice, I need you to um, politely introduce yourself to Rosie because she's going to be your roommate in college. Why do you have purple eyes? You're supposed to have blue eyes. Compliment her costume. I don't know what's up with my game right now. It's just very glitchy. I apologize. What's up, girl? We going to be roommates. Nice costume, bro. What's your major, by the way? What's going on over here? What in the... What's going on? Her and Lilith were just doing some, like, vampire stuff to each other. What's up, Kyla? Who's this? Caleb. <laughs> Why does he always have to wear a costume that covers his whole head? Oh my gosh, now is not the time to be in labor, Ren. It's really not. Can we at least wait until the party's over? <laughs> Why is it so hard to accept the party is over? Miss Charlie, mixologist. Who's the, um, who's the cook then? Oh my gosh, Max is an elder now, you guys. <gasps> We're gonna have to give him an elder makeover. And he's missing his lashes. And so is she. Everyone's missing all their crap. How annoying. Who's this? Riley Middleton. Oh, the, sh the caterer. What are you making there? Why are you tending the bar? You're a teenager. <laughs> um, well, it looks like a pretty PG party. No woohooing. Everyone's just dancing in their costumes, having a fun time, which is pretty cute. Aw, why is your heart broken, Charlie? What's wrong? Your social lead is very low. Okay. Um, you don't even know your wife's sister, so why don't you introduce yourself to Cameron? Say what's up to Dorian. Thank him for coming. Come on, Charles. I cannot believe Lil is pregnant. I really want to know who the baby dad is. I'm like dying to know. There are three Princess Leias at this party. <laughs> oh, Ren. You poor baby. <laughs> I'm thinking we should probably end now. I just wanted to do something, a little something, something. Oh, hey, Briley, nice costume. I <laughs> get it. Oh my gosh, oh my God, okay, she's just having it. Oh crap, okay. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh my gosh, it's a boy. Oh my gosh, it's a boy. <gasps> she's had a boy and a girl, holy cannoli. I thought for sure that it would be a girl. Okay, name. Oh man, um, a boy born on Halloween. That's pretty tight. Okay, I'm looking at this list of spooky names, <laughs> like Halloween names. 
Um, I love this right here. Blake, a great juxtaposition, meaning both dark and light. Because he was born on Halloween and there's a chance that he could be a vampire, so that's kind of dark. But he's also like the light of Ren's life. <laughs> I thought that was really cute. Um, and then also I really liked uh, Kieran, meaning little dark one. So I'm gonna tell Siri to flip a coin. Heads being Blake, Blake, tails being Kieran. Heads or tails? It's tails this time. Tails, okay, so Kieran it is. Meaning little dark one, I think that's really cute. It's very similar to Kian. Kieran from my uh, Rags to Riches series, my Island Living one, but that's okay, that's over now. Kieran Compost. Does it roll off the tongue? Blake Compost, Kieran Compost. Yeah, and his nickname could be Key. That's cute. Alright. Kieran it is! Holy crap, ran out of baby! Oh my- and look, Max is watching from the grave! How cute. Oh my god, do you have to have this on right now? Oh my goodness. Let me change you so I can get a proper photo of this moment. Super efficient baby care the baby. <laughs> that is so creepy. Oh, there we go. Good mama. Very good mama. Okay. I'm gonna move the bassinet into her... Actually, hmm, maybe we should keep it in this house since this is where everybody is. The baby would definitely get more attention here. So, right there you go, my boy. Mr. Kieran. Okay, let's end this Halloween party. It was very uneventful, but hey, I'm glad we did something. And I did want to introduce Alice and Rosie. Alright, goodbye everybody! And I can't believe Lilith is pregnant too. We're gonna have to go over and and uh, visit her and see what's, what's good with that. Meatless Monte Cristo, I didn't even know that was a thing. Okay, everyone's faces are back to normal, thank god. It looks like everyone had a good Halloween. I'm surprised. Okay, Zoe! Can you please stop with the bar? Like, what are you even doing? Come on, come inside. Uh, let's go to the bathroom. You have class? To oh my god, you have class in six hours. Okay. Um, and Luna's in your bed. Shoot! We don't have enough beds. Okay, well, let's take... Take a thoughtful shower, and then you can sleep in Charlie's bed. Can you even go in that room, I wonder? I don't even know. I think Ren's, uh, Ren is sick. There's so many ghosts about. Is it because it's Halloween? Thorn Bailey has passed away. Oh my gosh, about time, to be honest. Like, how did everyone die before him? Oh my gosh, look at this carrot cake. I need to make this. I also need to make those lemon bars. Looks good. Let's make some chocolate souffle. Work on that baking skill some more. This episode is what- Whoa! Stop it with the romance! Charlie, please! You're seriously killing me, dude. This is your aunt. Why is it not working? Why is it not, like, registering in your brain? And look, Max is pissed about it. You having a meatless Monte Cristo? Yay! Uh, reached baking level 10. Ren can now bake lava, bun cake, and cow plant essence meringue pie in a kitchen. She can also bake eclairs and alien fruit tarts at the cupcake factory. Alien fruit tarts? I think we can do that since we have alien plants. Super efficient baby care. Kieran, please. Come on, darling. Take care of your baby. Okay, and everyone has school in an hour, so how's everyone's mood? Okay, you're taking care of your hunger. You just need a bit of social. You need sleep. So come and sleep for a little bit before you gotta go. And everyone did their homework, right? All right, great. Oh no, the Ruby float still in your- Aw, you didn't even drink it. Sad day. Oh, Charlie is depressed from losing a grandparent. I forgot that Thorn was his grandpa. Aww, that is really sad. We have too big of a family to take, like, like, it's just hard to include everyone. Oh, why does Charlie have this familiar? That, I think Stella needs one. Bind. Weisenheimer? Nah, let's name him... Oh. Let's name it Celeste. That's the name of the magical owl in Animal Crossing, right? Cute. 
girl, go to school. It's your first day. Good luck at soccer tryouts or whatever tryouts you're going to be doing. Okay, you guys, was there anything else that we wanted to do with Alice before? Oh, yeah, we should take a family beach day. Once everyone gets back, we can go to the beach. Or should we wait till tomorrow since tomorrow's Harvest Fest? Should we have Harvest Fest on the beach? <laughs> That might be fun, and it could be like a good way to uh, say goodbye to Alice. Stella, why don't you ever go to work? Seriously. What is the issue? I think that this career might be broken because it is a custom one. Oh man, what is she at? Level six? Ugh. Well, if this is broken, we're gonna have to find her a new job. Or should she be a stay-at-home mom? I think maybe we can do that with her. Um, she can be a stay-at-home mom and she can work on her practical magic. Oh, look at this. <laughs> uh, interstellar opportunity. How'd you like to be an astronaut? Nah, that ain't it. That ain't it. Let's go ahead and quit her job since it's broken and we can't even go to work anymore. Uh, and then maybe we'll wait for another call opportunity. And uh, yeah, we'll just go from there. All right, what's next for Ren? What skill? Wellness, that's pretty high. It's the highest. So let's just do that then. Stella's doing wellness too. Aw, Luku came to visit. What was your name again? Jaquan? Jaquan! This is Alice's friend. Come say hi. Invite him in. Hey, dude. What's up? Thanks for stopping by. What do you got for me? You said you had a gift. What is it? Aww. He's like, congratulations on getting into uni. I'm gonna miss you so much. I'm so proud of you, though. What'd we get? A Sunset Valley postcard. Okay, he's like, uh, I don't know, maybe you could hang it in your dorm? Tina Tinker. Dude. Fine, come in. Fix whatever you see that's broken. She's in, she's just everywhere, isn't she? Get it, girl. Oh, I get it. They're barefoot when they do yoga. Makes sense. So since we are <laughs> low on bedrooms, maybe we can take advantage of this little space over here and make Zoe her own little hut. Yeah, it's Zoe's turn to have a hut. <laughs> it's very exciting. I oh, know, I know. Ugh, these teenagers are so lucky. She gets her own little guest house. <laughs> Not fair. All right, guys, I better stop before I take up too much time because <laughs> I can build for hours and hours, but I got the base down. I got the color palette that I wanted to use for her bedroom down. I just need to add more decoration pieces and some like geeky stuff and active stuff in here. And also, and this is really cool. It's like a little spellcaster study book thing that she keeps by her bed, which I think is really adorable. Um, so yeah, that's the bedroom, and then I think I want to make the couches this color. We're gonna have to, like, establish a color for Zoe, because each of the heirs pretty much have had a color. Have they? Charlie's is, like, dark blue. Or any blue, really. Um, Olive's was yellow. Max was... Shoot, I guess Max didn't have one. <laughs> but we can choose one from now on for each of the heirs. So let's assign the bed to Zoe, and then we can lock the door for everyone but Zoe. Okay, so let's make sure everyone is in a good mood for tomorrow, because we do be having a Harvest Fest at the beach. I'm excited. Oh, the baby. Super efficient baby care, Ren. Quickly. Charlie, why don't you head to bed for the night? Stella as well. Alice, how are you? You just need potty and then night. And then you're sleeping. You, my boy, you need some sleeps too. Oh my gosh, it's almost Kieran's birthday as well. Holy cannoli, that was so fast. One more person needs to go to bed and then we are all asleep. Can you believe it? Asleep by 2 a.m. Everyone in this household, that never happens. Never. Oh no, the chocolate souffles. Oh well, it's just the baby that's awake, but that's okay. What's the weather gonna be like tomorrow anyway? Rain. I wonder if it's gonna be raining in Solani. And then the day after that we got Kieran's birthday, and then the day after that we got Felix's birthday! Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see what he looks like as a teen, you guys. 
I can't wait to see what he's all about as well. How exciting. This is That's probably my favorite part of this whole challenge is like just figuring out their personalities. It's so much fun. This episode has been really chill. I hope you guys don't mind. <laughs> I know you love the drama and I know you love the chaos, but it seriously can't be like that in every single episode. I would, I would have a stroke. Come on, baby, go to sleep. I need to speed up time. Batman's here. Hello, little baby. Oh, he peed inside. Lovely. Thanks for that, Batman. Appreciate it. He's probably like, you forgot about me. I will never forget. Good morning, Ren. She's the first one up. All right, let's have some plasma packs. Charlie is up as well. Uh, why don't you come and say hi? Become companions with him. Oh, and the baby. Ren, that's all you. All right, good morning, Stella. Why don't you cook us some breakfast? Clean out spoiled food. Serve breakfast. Let's do pancakes. A nice Harvest Fest pancake. And the gnomes. I guess we could have whipped up a meal with her magic, huh? I always forget. No, Luna, no cake. No, no, no. Grab a serving of pancakes. You as well, Felix, babes. Come on, everybody. Not you, Ren. You can have a nice plasma pack. Okay, who are we missing? Who doesn't have pan clocks? Uh, Ren, just because she's a vampire, but everyone else is here, right? Wait, where's Alice? Eat cake, girl. You're supposed to have pancakes with everyone. All right, Charlie's all done. How is your mood otherwise? Your social's low. Why don't you just chit chat with your daughters and son? Get that social up. Stella, you're pretty good. Alice, pretty good. Ren, mm, perhaps you should have another plasma pack. I swear, she's like always thirsty. Um, Zoe, you just need the bathroom. And then Felix, you're good. Luna, you're also good. Okie dokie then. Well, I think we can head off. This is gonna be our last day with her, guys. Ringles -ibs. Nice family times, yes? Love to see it. Never seen these couches so full before. All right, you guys, let's head out to the beach then. I'm so excited. I don't think we've ever been to the beach with this family before. Have we? I know that we went with Charlie. We went with Charlie in Kingston. I can't believe Kingston passed away. How sad is that? And I really hope it's not raining in Solani. Like, fingers crossed. Um, I guess we should just go to the beach then. I should probably should have placed a better be a better beach, <laughs> but whatever. All right, let's hit it. I'm gonna get Alice to sunbathe. She's gonna get crispy. Here we are. Okay, it's windy but warm. Cool. And Kieran has been sent to daycare. Cool. Okay, Alice. Let's get it, girl. Let's sunbathe. Sunbathe and swimwear. You too, Ren. Oh, you can't sunbathe. It must have some weird properties. Oh my gosh, she can't sunbathe because she's a vampire. What's happening here? Sandcastle time! Let's put everyone in their swimsuit just so it's believable. All right, there we go. Everyone's in their swimmy swimsuit. Ren's on the swings, of course. Charlie, be a good boy. Don't, don't, just, just kick soccer ball with Ren. Okay, that's harmless, but that's it. Brother and sister, so cute. Oh, Luna, baby, I forgot about you. I bet she's the type that's like, I don't even want to be in a swimsuit. I hate the sun. <laughs> nah, we'll put her in her swimsuit. But it's so cute that she's over here playing chess. Like, you're so darling. Strut your stuff, girl. Yes, indeed. I'm gonna get Alice to sunbathe in the water. This is her first time being in the ocean. Iconic moment right here. Living her best life. Is it everything you've ever dreamed of? I can't help but feel so happy for her, you guys. This is so awesome. Look at this guy. That's big mood. Oh, hey, look, there's Rosie's girlfriend. And there's Giacomo. That's awesome. What are you furious from? 
Aggravating conversation with who? Who's this guy? Adult. Boo. Looking for a teen. Are there any teens out here? Ren loves to swing until she's too sick to do anything else. <laughs> well, I guess we should uh, grill some... Uh, some lunch then, some Harvest Fest lunchies. So let's do some grilled chicken with a side of baked potatoes. Aw, oh, yibs. Who's hungry? We need some drinks too. There needs to be, oh my God, this chick is rollerblading in the sand. Roller skating, sorry. I keep calling it rollerblading, but that's not what it's called. Wait, who are you? Uh, Mike. Oh, yeah, that Michael person. And then this is Jensen Lane. Okay, still no teens. Oh, look at the sand sculpture Stella made. Isn't that cute? What's Felix doing? Meanie from Mean Streak Childhood Phase. Oh, you butthole. Alice is still out here bathing. Oh, she had the aggravating conversation with Ren. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, pick up serving together. Come eat, everybody! Tech guru? Nah, we good. Oh, cute. And Ren was like, I'll just have myself a plasma pack. You guys enjoy the food. Yes, girl. Love to see it. Oh, this is such a cute day, you guys. I'm actually obsessed. So cute. Ren! No, 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 no. Stop. No eating human food. I'll take that baked potato, Auntie, if you're not gonna eat it. Luna's a vibe. Oh, hello there. Um, please don't eat our food. What's Charlie crying about? Oh no, Alice Babes, you're sunburned. I think you went too hard. She's like, Mom, 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 what the heck is happening with my skin? And then she could be like, well, I officially hate the sun. I didn't know it could hurt me. Ooh, look at this. That's a nice sculpture as well. Oh, Luna's bored. Oh, baby. Okay, now she's happy. This is a really cute day, guys. I love it. Everyone's going in the ocean! It looks like Max Jr. showed up. Cuties. Hey, there's a mermaid! <gasps> oh, that's that girl! That's that girl that Ren dated, or almost dated. Oh, baby. You poor thing. Oh, hey, Lilith! You had your kid! Where is it? Need to meet it. Need. I think that Ren's baby and Lilith's baby should be good friends. Oh, here's a teen. Chadwick. That's quite a name. Chadwick. Let's introduce ourselves. Friendly introduction. Chad for short. It's probably not a good idea, is it? You're like the only person that's my age on this beach. Let's see what you look like, Chadwick. Cheer up, buddy. <gasps> Those teeth! Oh, man. Really cute. Really, really cute. Oh, there's Dorian. Everyone's just showing up. Well, I'm glad, because I didn't want to have to invite everyone again. What are you so depressed about? Oh, your grandpa. Aww. Who's this fellow that- Baby Pleasant. Whew. Ask for advice. This is good. This is good. I like this. Are you happy, by the way? Uninhibited thrill from streaking. Oh my gosh, Alice freaking streaked. Mm. And then child of the ocean from swimming. Alice feels in complete harmony when one when uh, harmony when one with the ocean. How cute! Deep connection. Pinched by crab and sunburnt. I would say that's a decent uh, beach day. For sure. Everyone's happy except for Charlie because of his grandpa. Sad day. Alice found cake in the tr- Why is she dumpster diving? Oh my gosh, what's going on over here? Oh, I think they're getting along. Okay, let's hop into Creative Sim really quick and see if he's even worth our time. Oh, okay. So, big family. You are Summer- Wait, Tane is your bro- 
How does that make any sense? Tain should be dead. Who's your mom then? Why are you in this household? Weird. Just weird. Whatever, we're just gonna look past it. Alright, so beach life, slow learner, and talented. Huh. Alright. Well, I see potential, so let's see what we can do here. Alright guys, I don't really see him as endgame, but he does look a lot better than he did. I'm so glad she made a friend. That's very exciting. Oh my gosh, Dorian. Why are you looking at Ren like- Oh my god, why is everyone so obsessed with Ren? I mean, I get it, but like, it's like your family. Alright, anyway, how's your relationship with that boy? Oh, it's pretty good. You guys are friends, that's awesome. Charlie, honestly, just stop. Just stop. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go home because it's- the sun's going down. Uh, oh wow, that's a- that's a whole mood. That is a whole mood. Okay, so to end this episode, we are going to give Kieran his toddler makeover and we're gonna send off Alice to uni. And so we're not gonna be able to have another babe. Actually, once Alice moves out, we'll have one more spot open so we can have one more kid. And then until Felix is old enough to move out, we can't have any more kids. All right, so Miss Alice, <laughs> First day of uni, you're gonna be all sunburnt. Okay, let's see. University, enroll in a university. Here we go. It is time. It is time. It is time. I'm so excited for her. I know exactly how this feels. Okay, so I'm thinking Bright Brightchester. Okay, so what are the jobs for art history? Arts critic, patron of the arts, trendsetter. Okay, what about, what about history? Judge, officer, and p politician? Really? Is there really no archeo- There is no archeologist uh, career. Oh man, that sucks. Okay, well, to move forward, we must understand our past. The history degree uses historical people and events as a jumping off point for examining our modern age and the consequences of major, major historical choices. Okay, history. History idiot. <laughs> History it is! She's gonna be taking four classes. Actually, three classes and then what elective we got. I guess it doesn't matter because she's gonna be moving out, but... Um, none of those benefit us at all, so we'll just do four classes. Okay. <sighs> Let's have her live in... Darkwing House. University housing. I always do the dark wing house, so we should probably do university housing this time. Okay, there you go. Where are our scholarships? Oh, okay, they're already taken out. Wow, merit? What the heck is that for? I don't even know, but that's awesome. All right, pay with household funds. There you go. Okay, she's moving out, you guys. I'm so sad. But it is what it is. We'll give her... Let's give her... Let's give her 40 grand. Should hold you over. Love you, our sunburnt queen. See you next time. Okay, here we are. So why don't you go ahead and... What's the best bed? <laughs> All right, girl. We love you. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> so I don't know if she will finish uni like without me telling her to finish. I know that maybe if I turn on aging of played households, then it will work. I guess we'll just wait and see. I also need to um, go to Rosie's house and place her in the same housing as Alice so that they can be official roommates. I think that's how you do it. Okay guys, so the last thing that I want to do in this episode is age up Kieran. Um, are you excited about today? Want to celebrate me for a little bit? Oh my gosh, these freaking slice of life drop-ins are too much. Oh, look at this bean over here. Good for you, my love. So I will wait until midnight, and so it's technically Kieran's birthday to age him up. And Charlie, we need to give you a shirt as well. 
That's almost Felix's birthday too. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I kind of want to age them both up at the same time. Would you guys hate me if I did that? There's no, really no rules against it. And it's only a day apart, so I think we will do that. So, Charlie, my boy, can you please cook your son a cake? Oh, and Charlie and Stella can try for baby again. Try for baby with Charlie. Yes! Cooking level 9. That's my boy. I don't remember if I turned off the woohoo skill. I hope I did. Alright, guys. Well, it's officially midnight. That means it's officially Kieran's birthday. Oh, and the game says so as well. How nice. Okay. Let's age him up. I am so nervous i can't even really put it into words because the baby daddy is a very interesting looking man i mean he's not ugly he's just like he has strong features so so yeah i'm nervous and it's a boy a wren baby boy oh my gosh okay no oh my god this kid is gonna be a nightmare, isn't he? Tiny troublemakers who love to cry, cause trouble, and throw fits. But being noticed makes them happy and helps them overcome negative moodlets. All right then. Well, that's good to know. Where are they? Where'd you go? All right. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, cute. He got Ren's eyes and Ren's hair color. Promising. Very promising. So, oh, poor baby. Peed his pant. Okay. Make a wish. Come celebrate, everybody. Celebrate good times. Come on. Dun, dun, dun. Come on. Come celebrate your freaking son. Your only son. Oh, happy birthday, baby. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. All right. Here we go. His teen trait and his aspiration. Oh my gosh, exciting. Okay. <gasps> teen trait good. Adult aspiration strange real mystery. I don't like it. I mean, his trait is fine, but that aspiration though, why? Whatever, we gotta do what we gotta do. Strangerville is holding some deep dark secret and this sim wants to uncover why all the townsfolk are acting a bit strange. Well, I guess when Felix ages up, we can move him to Strangerville. Okie dokie, guys. Let's pop into Create a Sim and have a look at these beans. Charlie, please go take a shower. Oh my god. I'm scared. I'm scared. Felix looks scary. Okay. Ah. Oh. He's got a hamburger head. He doesn't look like anyone. Like, I mean, I can definitely tell he's got some Bellamy jeans because of the mouth and the the wide but short head. But still, like, I don't see any Charlie in that. I mean, look at this man. Beautiful, strong, just nice features. All right, let's see what we can do for you, my boy. Okay, the V-skin looks decent. Let's keep looking, though. You know what? He looks like a jock. His neck. It's so thick. He's just the thick boy. Um, braces? I mean, sure, you can have braces. Why not? All right, let's find you some hair. So, what hair did you have as a kid? Right, it was something like this. Oh, this was his hair. Okay, it still looks good. So, I guess we'll do that one. Yeah, this hair is it. Okay, and do we want to keep these brows? I think he looks a lot better with, like, bolder brows. Yeah, like, look at these ones. I feel like they're much better. You know what he kind of reminds me of? What is that freaking guy's name? He's in, like, every Netflix rom-com. 
Noah... Noah Centineo? I don't know why, but he kind of reminds me of him. All right, let's find you something to wear now. I need to stop dressing my Sims in freaking pants and like plain sweaters and plain, <laughs> plain shirts. It's just what I I like the most, and it's really hard for me to do to like branch out. Overalls? I don't know. Do we like them? Oh, this is hard. This is hard. Me dressing my male sims versus me dressing my female sims is like night and day, you guys. <laughs> night and freaking day. I really like this striped shirt, though. That's really cute. Got a hoodie. Just a plain old hoodie. I love it. Maybe he could be a flannel guy? I like to kick it. I'm a karate guy. <laughs> I like the flannel. Oh, look at the little flowery shirt. Really like this outfit, but the back of this hair is seriously grinding my gears. I think it's just because his neck is so thick that uh, it's just bothering me even more. Okie dokie, you guys. Felix is all done. Let's move on to Mr. Kier. Oh my god, you guys, he's a vampire. <gasps> He's a vampire! I didn't think he would be since Ren, since you guys were saying that Ren has such a weak bloodline. <gasps> but nope. He's a freaking vampire! Oh my god! Oh my god. Okay, this skin detail. It's making him look a certain way, so prepare. Prepare yourself. Oh my god. He's actually so cute! Okay. Okay, let me tone down these freckles. I love that he's super freckly, but they are just like way too dark. Okay, and I'm gonna uh, keep his eyes like this because he got Ren's eyes and um, that's, that's pretty huge, so we're keeping it. Oh my god, you guys. Look at this boy. I'm freaking out right now. He is so cute. What the heck? I even got a mind to keep this hair because he is killing it. <laughs> okay, so this was the color of the hair when he aged up. And I was thinking about giving him this hair, but this color? Is that, like, similar? Okay, whatever. I think it's pretty close. Alright, guys. Here is Kieran all finished. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, such a cute bean, am I right? I am so excited. Ren makes some beautiful kids, you guys. She truly does. Okay, so here's outfit number one, here's outfit number two, here's his formal wear, here's his sleepwear, his party, his swim, his hot weather outfit, and his cold weather outfit. All done! Well, I think I'm going to leave this episode right here. Please let me know what you think of their makeovers. Let me know what you think we should do about Kieran's dad, because that's a tricky one. Let me know what you think about the episode in the comments. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!